I haven't vlogged yet today and it's almost two o'clock just because of the simple fact that it's nothing different than yesterday. Today. Voice is a bit better today. It's not as um, rasp. No, it wasn't even raspy yesterday. It was just very quiet and I kept, I would speak and nothing would come out or it'd come out high pitched. My eyes are watering already though. I have Madam behind me here. Just We've just been outside. Um, Ashley left. She took our packages to the post office on the way in because we both sold a bottle of perfume, funnily enough, um, on Macari. So I posted it last night and I sold it last night. So that's nice. <coughs> so that's gone. Um, I'm shattered. But if my brother ever watches these, I don't think you do. But happy birthday, Steve. It's Steve's birthday today. I've already sent him a text. We were talking this morning. Actually, we've spoken like every day for the past month. <laughs> ABC News Now, what? Oh, gosh. Something now about um, one of our attorney generals in the area has contracted this virus. Oh, I don't know. It's all that's on. It's like you can't get away from it. Not that you... Don't get me wrong. I am listening to what they're saying and I understand. But it's just like... It's... It is it is what it is. Um, I did add some more things on Macari this morning. That's another reason I didn't vlog. And I added some more stuff on Poshmark. And I'm making deals. I'm a deal maker today. Um, people that are liking it. Liking different things. I'm making deals. Um, in hopes to sell some more stuff soon. I haven't heard from Pete today, so I know there's a lot going on there. They're trying to figure out how to continue working if everybody has to work from home. They are shutting down. The one nice thing about Pete's, well, not the one nice thing, but one of the perks of Pete's job is they're a fully functioning cafeteria where they get free breakfast and lunch. You know, they make certain things and you either take it or you leave it. But there is choice. <coughs> <coughs> but one of the new rules they've just put into place is they're going to start. It almost sounds like a pack lunch, but it isn't. Um, they're pre-making sandwiches and salads. And you can just go in, take them. But they don't want people sitting in the cafeteria. I guess they want everybody back to their offices. Or as Pete's case, the studio, which is in the basement, and eat there, not up in the cafeteria. So there's no big meeting of a lot of people. But I did see something concerning on the news this morning. I don't know how true it is, but it was on the, the national news. So, but some father, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> the way I heard it was some father knowingly had or had been in contact with somebody with the virus, went to his daughter's dance competition or dance recital at school. Now, knowing that you've either got it or you've been in touch with somebody who has it, wouldn't you think, you know what? I know it's my daughter, but maybe I should stay away for the safety of the rest of the people in the audience and the school and the kids and everything else. But, I don't know the full circumstances because it's just another thing. I just saw it come across the TV and I was just like shaking my head. Anyway, my throat is very dry, so I'll talk to you later. All right, guys, time to change, which I just did. And I'm sitting in bed now. I'm going to watch some of my English programs. Pete's just watching the news. He's been home a little while. So we caught up. <coughs> now... <coughs> <coughs> And now he's, we caught up now, I've come up here and he's just going to sit there. Um, I'm going to make steak <coughs> and onion. <coughs> oh, funny, I could speak. I'm going to make steak and onion rings for dinner. And then there's a bit of pasta salad left, so that'll do nicely. Luna is chilling with Pete. And Ash is at work till nine. <coughs> <laughs> I 
stuff I want to say, guys, but I can't because as soon as I talked. It's just cooking the steak at squad to nine. The fries and onion rings are in the oven. Found some fries. I didn't think we had any. So it's one of those kind of dinners tonight, and I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it. Ash isn't the home yet, but there again, she's on the schedule till nine. Watching the mass singer. Such a good show. I love it. Anyway, I just figured I'd give a quick check in and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so dinner's over. Pete and I had the steak and the fries and the, the uh, onion rings. It was really nice. Oh, gosh, I don't know how to make you look more washed out. Um, we just watched the president's speech. It was there uh, all about this virus and stuff. And then saw that it came across, come, came across that no flights coming in from any European countries except England starting on Friday. Now the middle school here has a bunch of kids over in Italy at the moment and they're due to come back Friday. So hopefully that will all go smoothly and the kids will get back here because they're not letting anyone in for 30 days. So, yes. Oh, I've been rubbing my eyes. That's what that is. Didn't realize how much I've been rubbing my eyes. Look like I smacked myself. But uh, yeah, there's um, there's all sorts going on. I have a feeling the schools will close after hearing what he was saying. And I have a feeling that Pete's business will close after hearing what he was saying. The other place Pete works at at night, that's been closed for two weeks already. So I think they're planning on reopening next week. So that's a lot. It really... It, you know, there's a lot of puzzle pieces to put together when stuff happens like this. But stuff that you don't have to normally think about on a daily basis. But this is just a wake-up call that there's stuff out there that isn't good. All right, guys. Waffle, waffle, waffle is all I seem to have done today. So it's quarter to ten. I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everyone had a brilliant, brilliant Wednesday, whatever it is you did today. Hope it was a good one, and uh, we'll definitely see. <laughs> Almost did it, guys. Almost got there. Anyway, oh, whatever it is you did today, hope it was a good one, and we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Good night.